when you look across the government apparatus uh, in all countries, you find innovation is uh, really spread right throughout. You know, for example, if you go to the European Commission's website and you search innovation, you will get a multitude of directorates general throwing up programs at you. So one of the things that I think we countries need to start to think about is how they're going to institutionally locate innovation and what they're going to locate it with. Are they going to put it in industry, in agriculture? In, are they going to make it separate? Are they going to put it with higher education? So many of the inputs that go in uh, uh, come from different areas. So I think one of the things that we need to think about is this institutional question of how to encapsulate the phenomenon of innovation in an appropriate policy structure. I think that's a very important uh challenge for many governments today, especially as the definition of innovation is self-expanding and becoming more open and more widespread. Uh, but from our studies looking at the Global Innovation Index for the last few years, you know, the index itself captures some of the key areas where countries need to focus on. You know, you have the infrastructure, you have the macroeconomic, political, institutional frameworks, you have the human infra human capital, you have the business and the market conditions in the in the in the economy so those five input conditions are some of those elements but if you ask what is the most important element the most important element clearly boils down to people so if a country is able to develop its own human talent if it's able to attract the best talent from the world of the region if it's able to create the conditions for allowing these own people and also perhaps in some cases foreign talent, global talent, to prosper in the economies in the region, I think that combination of good people creates all kinds of positive spin-offs. And capital follows people and good people find markets for their ideas and a lot of very good things happen as a consequence of that. So if I had to condense the critical success factor to one element, I would say it's really the ability of an economy to believe in and to invest in its own people.